What's up comic and pop culture fans? This is James of Mint Hunter Comics and as promised I told you that I would give you a video talking about those Black Friday tips. Well, probably be releasing this early Friday morning so you can get out there. Here's some tips that you're going to want to remember today. Firstly, before you even go shopping, save up because tonight, Black Friday, in the evening, I'm going to be hosting Dynamite Entertainment's claim sale. They're doing a massive Black Friday sale, crazy deals, and I'm going to be hosting. So save up your money. That's a big one coming. You're going to get some crazy deals. All right, so Black Friday, first things first. This should go without saying, but get there first. Get there early, get there first. Some of these places are going to be really popular that there might even be a line forming. The last couple years at some of my local comic shops, that was the case. You want to get there 5, 10, sometimes 15 or more early. Next up, know what's there first. If they have a website, check out the website to see what they got. That way, you know that you can just beeline straight to that item and see if you can pick it up. Or if you don't have a website, but they're kind of a local shop, maybe head there the day or two before just to see everything and say, oop, I got my eye on that, I got my eye on that, I got my eye on that, because guess what? Most comic book shops at bare minimum are probably doing 10% off at least, some 15, some 20. I know one that's doing at least 40% off. You don't want to miss that. Next up, and probably the most important one, know the fair market value. This goes into knowing what's going to be there. If you know what's going to be there, it gives you time to research the value of the book. If you know the fair market value, you can get a good deal, or you realize, hey, even after 20%, that's still a bad deal, and walk away, right? Because you know how sometimes places might overinflate the price, but then drop off 10, 20%, and it ends up just being basically the same price you'd get off eBay. And it ends up being still more expensive than even eBay. Just make sure you do your research and know. I'm lucky in most of the shops in my general area tend to put stuff pretty much at and hovering around fair market value for these books. So any additional percentage off or incentives is definitely worth a shot. But Know the market value because a lot of books have been dropping and what you think might have been a good deal, check it out. It might have dropped a hundred bucks. I said this in my flea market video, but set a budget. That way you don't spend over your means and you get exactly what you want without getting in trouble with the wife. Super important. If you set a budget for yourself, you'll find that it's a little bit easier to not be played. And that's really what we all want to make sure we're doing. Next up, bundle for savings. Some shops might have bundled deals where if you get additional things, you might be able to get even more savings. Here's the thing. On Black Friday, most of the time, they've already put crazy percentages. Sometimes shops aren't even making money. They're like breaking even on this stuff. So they're not going to haggle on anything. Don't even try. And that's fair. They're already giving you great deals. However, since you always want to do it, you should do it here. If you can try to bundle, Try to bundle, see if you can't get any extra percentage off or any special deal. Next up, don't try to trade. I always say try to trade, but on Black Friday, it's just don't be the dude who brings in stuff for trade. First of all, no shop owner on Black Friday is going to have the time to really look at the value of everything. Even if you call in advance, just don't even try it. You'll also be that guy holding up the line. Really don't try it. I'm saying this from memory. I saw someone do this and it really pissed everybody off. So take a chill pill. It's not the day for that. That will come, but not Black Friday. Okay, bring cash. This kind of goes into the bundling thing. Sometimes you find that when you've got cash, sometimes additional promotions open up to you. Whatever reason, I don't know. But sometimes shops, stores, flea markets, yard sales, they prefer cash, man. So if you've got cash, bring it. You might be able to squeak out even better of a deal than on a credit card. Worth a shot, right? Next up, I should have put this at number one. Be courteous. You are going to miss stuff that you want. There are other people that want stuff that maybe you want. There's going to be other people all around. 
don't be a jackass. Be courteous of everyone around you. Understand that we are all trying to do the same thing. We're all trying to enhance our collections. We're all scrambling to get this cool item or this cool item. Be nice. And if you miss something, it's okay. It is just comic books. It's not a life source, okay? It's going to be okay. There's next year, and there's free comic book day, and there's all kinds of sorts of awesome deals that your shops are going to be doing in the future. So just be courteous. Next up, if your shop has it, use loyalty programs. A big one here. This is the day where if you've got any store credit, you want to use it today. Use your store credit because you really don't want to wait until the next day after where it's back to the full price and crap, I didn't use my store credit. Don't be caught slipping. If you got a system like that at your local shop, make sure you're utilizing it. Um, if there are any sort of loyalty programs, anything you can cash in to make it better, do it. Next up, social media. Um, sometimes there's surprise announcements. Sometimes there's well, just announcements in general, really from your local comic book shop or whatever have you. They'll say what's going on. Oh, wall books are 20% off. Uh, the back bins are 30% off. And all slabs are like 5% off or whatever is going on. Make sure you watch out because you don't want to think like, oh, it's 30% off on everything. No, watch the social media. Pay attention to what they're really saying and what they're able to do. Um, and just keep an, keep an eye out. They might be showing off a certain thing that you really want. You want to make sure you're following on social media so you can see all those announcements. It helps you understand what you're going to be buying once you finally get there. And check all store policies in advance. Most stores, you can't return stuff, so don't even try. Make sure, just like any other day, if it's something that you really want, Make sure it's the condition you want and everything before you just pick it up. Some places might have a policy where store credit won't work on Black Friday. So just be aware of all the situations in which there might be a specific policy. So that way you can be a more savvy shopper on Black Friday. Also, just don't forget to have fun. Realize it's just not a real holiday. It's just a goofy thing we've all invented to get the crap we want. It's going to be okay if you don't get it. But also, if you do these things, you're going to have a much better shot at getting what you want. As always, guys, keep on hunting. And let's do a quick word from our sponsor, Dynamite Comics, which 30 years now, Dynamic Forces has been going, and we're going to celebrate it with a massive savings plan. I'll put a link here, but basically, customers can save 95% off on well over 150 issues worth of critically acclaimed and fan favorite titles. Just for 18 bucks to get everything, fans will be walking away with an awesome haul of over 5,000 pages to dig their teeth into. We're talking The Boys, Vampirella, Red Sonja, and Mars Attacks, Nancy Drew, Garbage Pail Kids, Barbarella, tons more. Dynamite's also including several of the latest hits that have barely just hit the shelves, such as Unbreakable Red Sonja, Vampirella Mind Warp, Scarlet Sisters, Lady Hell, and others. This is an incredible bundle on digital comics, but that's not all. Dynamite and Humble Bumble are working alongside World Central Kitchen, to contribute a portion of the proceeds from the sales around the world. World Kitchen is a nonprofit organization that strives to provide meals to those in need in the wake of natural disasters and crises. You do not want to miss this 95% off, frankly, ridiculously awesome sale.